In this episode, we're going to talk just about light stands and some accessories. So hi guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. My name is Manny and this tutorial we're going to talk just about the light stands, uh, tripods and also a few accessories that we're using here for our pro tutorials and at Retard Pro. Also I'm not going to talk too much about all the technical terms about the stuff. You guys can find all the things, all the products in the links down below. We've provided you with a tons of links there. Then as well if you have any questions post them down below in the comment box or let me know on Facebook at Retard Pro. Okay, so let's get started right away here on the left hand side, we're going to talk right away through the clamps, the weight, then again the center and as well the tripod here on our right side. So first of all, let's talk about just the weight here. Basically the weight comes again with a medium stand, basically a light medium boom stand, again also about two and a half meters in height. Um, I'm not too sure about all the technical terms, it got basically just normal clamps, um, fittings here just to make it up in height. Yeah, and also comes again with a rotating system in the center and another L-arm. I can't really show it to you guys since we're using it currently to record this episode. So again, yeah, it's currently in use, but we use it and it's pretty much the same as the stand over here. So it also comes in a medium size. Then also at the one end we have the weight and on the other end you can either put a microphone or again a light. For that you will use again these little extra pieces which also come standard with the stands. If not, then have a look. You might need something different for your fitting here. Okay, so we have these as well. Then over here we also have some clamps, so bigger clamps again to place our backdrops into place and as well smaller clamps. So we either use sometimes use smaller ones or sometimes bigger ones, but I prefer the smaller ones. Then over here I showed this before, again a little Velcro tape, so again also branded so everybody knows whose equipment it is, but also this is pretty handy again to clamp either light cable to your stand or under other stuff like for instance with a microphone. So this comes in very handy. Over here we have a bit of duct tape left from a previous shooting, so this is always in the back as also showed in a previous tutorial, so this is very very handy to have with on every shoot. Then over here we have again another light stand, this is actually for a backdrop system, so again a medium stand going to almost large stand, um, yeah it's actually a bigger stand, so this goes up quite far. Also at the top it will be connected to these four rods over here which basically then make up a background stand and our Colorama backdrop pops onto there and we've got a portable background stand with this system. So this comes all together, there's still one stand missing, I didn't place all our stands here on the table otherwise this is completely full the table. Then over here again we have also some Allen Crumb standard Allen Crumb stands with a little bit of a clip system here. Also a medium height and they look pretty good actually and also do the job. They don't have a fitting here at the top which I find a bit d uh, distracting actually and irritating because other stands have a bit of a system here at the top which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. But otherwise we have around six of these stands and for inside they do a pretty good job just to hold everything in place. Over here we have also a little smaller stand again for some video lights and as well if we use small lights with snoots sometimes on the backdrop for shooting subjects and getting a really nice spot behind the subject. But yes, this is again what we use. We have two of those and this is what we use. Over here we have the Fotex stand again, P2800. Again, if you guys want to find more about this stuff in the description down below. Over here what I really like, those are also large stands so they go up quite far. Also with air cushion again as most of these, these and these, not the small ones. So air cushion is really nice if the light falls down, it's cushioned a little bit. Then here at the top as I mentioned earlier we have a little noopsy thing where you can basically put this little thing in and you can change the light either depending on which side you want. So I really like that, the Allen Crumb standard ones don't have that. Okay, great, so we are then from these stands, I didn't place all of them on the table here, we have around eight of these that we use again for shootings outside and in studio. Then over here we also have again a tripod, a Manfrotto tripod, I'm not sure exactly what model it is, please have a look in the description down below. Also coming again with a three point ball head which we really like, it takes a lot of weight and yeah, super powerful. So we use two of these and also yeah, sometimes use it for slider systems and also for shooting and just single video stuff. Also great, you can just have a little monopod out of this thing if you take it apart. And yeah, it stretches pretty far. It's a good tripod. 
yeah, it's pretty stable and takes a lot of weight. So we really love and we really recommend this tripod. Okay, so this is basically all about this video as well. If you guys want to see some more stuff, have a look here on your left hand side. We've got some more Photoshop tutorials. On our right hand side, we've got some more uh, videos about gear, bags, camera lenses and camera bodies. And as well, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right at the top if you want to get some more weekly updates. At the bottom, you guys can again find our website. And don't forget again, yeah, hit me up with a thumbs up if you like this episode. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.